The AC3000ME, a mid-engined sports car born from the collaboration between Robin Stables and Peter Bohanna, was influenced by motorsport successes like the Ford GT40 and Lola T70. Initially unveiled in 1972, it garnered favorable comparisons to Italian Exotica like the Dino 246 GT. Behind its delicate exterior lay carefully thought-out engineering with independent coil springs, subframes, and a tub structure. AC's Keith Judd believed in its potential and presented it to company boss Derek Herlock. Despite initial skepticism, Herlock greenlit the project, leading to a lengthy development process. The original plan was to launch at the 1973 Earl's Court Motor Show, but issues with obtaining engines delayed production. The car finally debuted in 1978 as the AC3000ME, priced higher than anticipated due to inflation. Reviews were positive, praising its practicality and cabin space, but it struggled to compete in terms of performance. Tuning company Rooster Turbos offered a solution, turbocharging the Essex V6 engine, but AC declined. There were missed opportunities, including an intriguing collaboration with Ford. AC struggled to sell the 3000 MEE, ultimately building only 76 units before deciding to sell the company. A Scottish entrepreneur took over briefly, producing a few more cars before the venture folded in 1985. The AC mark changed hands, and the 3000 MEE briefly resurfaced in England, but didn't make it to production due to lack of investment. The story of the AC 3000 ME is one of ambition, setbacks, and missed opportunities, marking a chapter in British automotive history.